Hola chicas, I'm Adrian Adams and this is Adri's Yummy Hour. Today our key ingredient of the day is, drum roll please, gelatin. Gelatin is a protein that has the power to thicken liquids. When dissolved in hot water, the gelatin traps the water molecules and transforms it to a jelly-like substance. With this key ingredient, I'm gonna make some really fun and tasty rainbow foam. So vamonos, let's get this culinary party started. Because we want all the colors in the rainbow, we're using five different flavors of gelatin. We have cherry, lemon, orange, berry blue, and green apple. But feel free to use whatever flavors you like. <sighs> Free facial. Now, we're going to mix each flavor separately by mixing each package with boiling water. Don't forget to ask your parents to help you out with this part because this water is muy caliente. Then place each one of these bowls in the refrigerator until it is almost firm, but not completely firm. Espérate! Next, grab one of the flavors and place it into our standing mixer. Whisk the gelatin until it's nice and foamy. Super fussy, right? Now we're going to grab a tall glass and scoop the first flavor into it. Then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or until it sets. Repeat the process with all the other flavors until you have one nice big rainbow. And there you have it, one colorful and edible rainbow foam. Pretty brilliant. It's time to dig in. But I can't help but think that there's something missing. I know! Whipped cream! Perfecto! Mm. Mm. Muy delicioso! Thank you guys for watching Adri's Yummy Minute. I hope you enjoyed this super fun recipe. Mm. You don't want to miss this. Project MC Square. Hola chicas, I'm Adrian Adams and this is Adri's Yummy Hour. Thank you. Gracias. I'm very excited too. And now it's time to get our key ingredients of the day. Whew. Sodium alginate and calcium lactate. Sodium alginate is a gelling agent that is made out of seaweed and calcium lactate is a salt that can also be used as a firming agent. Fantastico, no? With these two ingredients, I'm gonna make my favorite snack in todo el mundo. Molecular spaghetti! <laughs> so vámonos! Let's get this culinary party started! Primero, we need to make an alginate solution. So place one teaspoon of alginate powder and one cup of water into an empty soda bottle. Next, we're going to add a little bit of food coloring just to give our spaghetti a little pop and some sugar for flavor. Feel free to use a powdered drink mix in place of the sugar when you make it at home. And now, shake it up for about five minutes and then let the solution sit for about an hour to thicken. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? <gasps> Cat memes! <laughs> How do the cats come up with this stuff? Then, we're going to put the solution into a squeeze bottle. Take one large bowl and dissolve one tablespoon of calcium lactate into one cup of water. Squeeze the alginate solution into the bowl full of calcium lactate. Wait 30 seconds and there you have it. Molecular spaghetti. Pretty brilliant. I think this deserves a victory dance. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Rata. When serving your spaghetti, feel free to make whatever kind of shape you want. It can be a silly face or an animal. I made mine into a corazón to show all my sous chefs out there how much I care. Now, if I move this there, add two little eyes here, some whiskers here, a molecular spaghetti kitty. Tell me this isn't the cutest meal you've ever seen. Meow. Well, that's all for Adri's Yummy Hour. Thank you for watching. Adios, amigos. Project MC Square. Hola, chicas. I'm Adrian Adams, and this is Adri's Yummy Hour. I come from a long line of culinary chemists, and today I'm looking for a few awesome sous chefs to help me make some delicioso food using molecular gastronomy. 
And helping me in the kitchen today is the super intelligente, super spy, Michaela McAllister. Hi there. Michaela, do you know what time it is? Uh, yeah, it's uh, 3.25 PST, which means it's 6.25 EST, which means in China it's... No, no, no. Not the literal time. It's time to announce our key ingredients of the day. Carbon dioxide! It's a colorless and odorless gas that is used to make carbonated drinks, like soda or sparkling water. And we're using it to make something yummy for our culinary theme of the day. Movie night snacks! What's your go-to movie night flick? Well, any movie with a group of smart girls who also like to kick butt. Why does that sound so familiar? Hmm. Anyway, I love a good romance story that makes me want to cry. Just thinking about them makes me want to cry right now. No matter what the movie, I've got the perfect recipe to take your movie night snacks up a notch. Primero, we're going to need some popcorn, note chocolate, and... Fizzy candy! Just like the kind I made on New Year's Eve. It's not just any candy. Fizzy candy contains citric acid and baking soda. Pretty sweet, right? Yes, yeah, pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah, 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 just keep the sweets away from me. Claro, this recipe is super easy. All you do is drizzle the melted chocolate onto the popcorn, then sprinkle the fizzy candy on top. We wait for them to cool, and then it's time to dig in. Ah, uh, mmm, now that's some culinary spill, right? <laughs> Next, we're going to make some ice cream using our second key ingredient of the day, rock salt. Rock salt in ice cream? Does Rock Salt have a twin sister named Enroll? Like Rock and Roll? Querida, leave the jokes to me, okay? As I was saying, water has a freezing temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But when combined with salt, water's freezing point lowers, allowing a bit of the ice to melt. It is a process called freezing point depression. Pretty brilliant, right? Without this technique, you can't make ice cream because ice itself is not cold enough to freeze the mixture. Now, we're going to fill a one gallon zipper lock bag about halfway with ice. And we're going to add six tablespoons of rock salt. Next, in one quart size zipper lock bag, add a half a cup of half and half, one tablespoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Place this bag into another quart size bag just to make sure none of the ice gets in. Next, place the smaller bag into the ice bag and seal. And now, it's time to shake, shake, and shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your helado, come on. Shake your helado. Come on, Michaela, join. Come on. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. I told you this was a party. Keep shaking the bag for about five to 10 minutes or until it is as firm as you like it. Scoop it out and it's time to enjoy it. We need some chocolate syrup. BRB. Aha! You know, I was just making sure that it was okay to eat. Yeah, it's fine. Mm hmm. Hmm. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed these recipes. Thank you to Michaela for being such an awesome sous chef. Thank you for feeding me. Claro. Oh no, our movie's starting. We gotta go. Hasta la vista, bebe. Project MC Square. Hola chicas, I'm Adrian Adams and this is Adri's Yummy Hour. And in this corner, the queen of acronyms, the social media champion, Brian Benwell! F to Brian. Oh, hey everyone. Sorry, I was just telling all my followers to look out for a video, which I know will be hashtag Amazebooks. Putting my phone away now. Our key ingredient of the day is Auger Auger. So nice, they named it twice. It's a jelly agent that is made out of algae. With our key ingredient, we can make... Does this mean that we get to play with our food today? Because my parents always said to never play with my food, which I never totally understood because, hello, have you ever seen a pizza be made? 
BTW, what's the deal with burgers and why aren't they just called beef sandwiches? Fried in Kamote! With our key ingredient, we're going to make some fantastic and super yummy honey beets. And don't worry, agar agar is super safe to eat. Would I ever steer you wrong, chicas? Well, there was that one time that. You... Are you ready to cook, Brandon? Ready! Vamos! Let's get this culinary party started! Primero, we're going to pour half a cup of honey and one third cup of water into a saucepan. Next, we add two grams or half a teaspoon of agar agar. Now, let's mix it all up and bring it to a nice boil. Remember to always get a parent's permission before cooking and always have a parent nearby when handling hot food. Correcto, chica. You're pretty smart. You know what they say. Smart is the new cool. Take a pie pad and fill it with the hot mixture. Then, take a big glass of cold olive oil and begin putting teeny drops of honey in. Make sure the olive oil is cold. It's the cool temperature that helps the proteins in the agar-agar to bond together or coagulate. How cold are we talking here? Like cute scarf cold or like my family's forcing me to move to Iceland cold? Just plain refrigerator cold. Oh, that's doable to me. <laughs> they should all float down to the bottom of the glass. Once you think you have enough, scoop them up with a spoon and dump them into a bowl of water to chill. Stir the water around so the beads separate. Whoa! It looks like they're doing a beautiful water ballet. I wonder what we would look like doing water ballet. And finally, we scoop them up and put them on a plate. Dale! Honey beets! Pretty brilliant! <laughs> In España, we often eat honey with cheese. But you can put the honey beets on your toast or even your tea. Salud! Mmm! Hashtag yummy science! This is fantastic! I could totally make a cute necklace out of these and munch on it throughout the day when I get hungry. What can I say? I have the culinary chemist touch! That's all for Adri's Yummy Hour! Thanks for watching!